Hi everyone. In this video, I will show you how to calculate the current in simple dial circuits graphically. In the simple circuit shown here, we can write two equations. One is the current voltage or IV equation of the diode, which follows an exponential function. And another one is the circuit equation by writing a KVL in this loop. So we have a set of two simultaneous equations and by solving them we can find the current ID and the voltage VD. Unfortunately, one of these equations is nonlinear and therefore there is no analytical solution for this set of equations. In a previous video, I have shown how to use numerical methods to calculate the current and voltage. These equations can be solved graphically as well. If we plot these equations on the same graph, the solution is simply where they meet or the intersection of them. Here I have already plotted the IV characteristics of the diode. For a reason that you will see shortly, I have extended the voltage axis. We just need to plot the second equation or the circuit equation. This is the equation of a line which can be written in this form as well. The easiest way to draw a line is to find two points on the line and connect them with a straight line. It is easier if we choose these two points on the voltage and current axis. The point on the voltage axis is where the current is zero. If we put the current to zero, we will have the diode voltage equal to uh, the supply voltage, which is 1.5 volts in this example. The second point is on the current axis where the voltage is zero. If we put the voltage to zero, we find the current equal to V divided by R, which is six milliamps in this example. Now we need to connect these points by a straight line. This is a line with a negative slope of minus one divided by R, which is called the load line. The intersection of the load line and the diode IV characteristics is our answer. It is called the operating point and is usually shown by Q. The current and voltage of the diode can be measured directly from the uh, voltage axis and current axis. Sometimes it is not possible or it's not easy to locate two points of the line on the axis. For example, if we change the supply voltage to 5 volts, it cannot be shown on the graph. If we have plotted the IV data on a computer, we can change the scale to have 5 volts visible. We draw two points and draw the line as explained before. However, the operating point is at the corner of a large graph and the current and voltage measured are not very accurate. The points that we choose to draw the load line don't need to be on the axis. They can be any points. So it is better to choose two points somehow that the graph is in the right scale 
and we can draw the load line and measure the current and voltage more accurately. In this example, I have changed the current axis uh, scale. So the point on the current axis is not very close to the center. For the second point, I have used VD equal to 1 volt, which gives ID equals to 2 milliamps. Now we can draw the load line and find the operating point at its intersect with the IV characteristics. It is much easier to read the diode current and voltage on this graph. When we use the graphical method, first of all, we shall have the, we should have the IV characteristics of the diode available. It might be provided by the manufacturer, or we have found the data experimentally. Sometimes we use the graphical method not to have a precise calculations of the current, but to explain the operation of circuit in a better way using the load line concept. The load line is particularly important in explaining the operation of transistors in transistor circuits. How accurate is the method? The accuracy depends on how accurate we can draw the load line or measure the current and voltage on the graph. Sometimes we use it just to have a quick estimate of the current. It can be very accurate if we have the IV characteristics on the computer. We can scale the graph to zoom into the region of interest, and we can read the precise values of the current and voltage using data reader. Thank you for watching.